Today, we're making a simple modification to the T500 still that's gonna allow you to take control of how water is used, where it's used, and how much is used while you're running this still. How's it going, chasers? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. I'm Jesse, and this is Still at the Channel, all about chasing the craft of home distillation and making it a legitimate hobby. So this thing here is the uh, the top half, the business half of the T500 still and like we said in the intro we're going to be modifying it very slightly, very easily uh, to allow separate control of the reflux condenser and the um, product condenser over this side. There's a host of different reasons that you might want to do that but the most obvious one is that it's going to allow you to uh, perform stripping runs or even run this thing kind of like a pot still. Uh, if you so desire, which is pretty freaking cool. Let's talk really quickly about what this still does now before we get into to changing it up. So uh, they provide this little setup here, which is actually pretty cool. It's nice having a, a uh, finely tunable needle valve. Uh, I like that, that is cool. Uh, and that allows the water to come uh, from a variety of different fittings. They give you you know, these different things to, to attach onto a garden hose or um, insert into a tap or depending on what you have, that, that's fine. Uh, the water comes in here and it goes uh, cold in the bottom to warm out the top with the product condenser, which is fine, I'm on board with that. Uh, but then what it does is, let me go sideways with this, <laughs> It sends that already used water, the warm water, uh, into the reflux condenser, which is in the column here, and then it exhausts out the bottom, down here, uh, back into the sink or, you know, into the garden or wherever you're sending it. Uh, and it has a little thermometer here to keep track of the temperature of the water coming out. This thing, in my opinion, is kind of set up for ease of use straight out of the box, right? So as long as you run it the way that they tell you to run it in situations that they want you to run it with recipes that they want you to run, uh, it actually, the, the balance actually works pretty well from the one time I've used it. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, but if you're watching this channel and you're a chaser of the craft, chances are you wanna, well, you wanna mess with it, right? You wanna do different stuff, you wanna, give it more ability to be flexible and to do a wider range of things. So the problem at the moment is that you cannot individually control the knockdown potential in the two different condensers. And you certainly, you sure as hell, cannot just completely uh, turn the reflux condenser off. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just simply uh, pop this guy off the top. Uh, we're not gonna use that anymore. Now we have a situation where the water comes in from the tap, goes through the product condenser, and it's just going to come spurting out the top. That's obviously not what we want. Uh, we want to redirect that into wherever our waste is going. So you just need a hose, something that is going to redirect that water over to the sink. Now, uh, this stuff has a internal diameter of six mils before it's stretched out slightly to uh, fit onto this. So literally any hose with an internal diameter of six millimeters is going to work for you. Uh, you can get hose like this, probably the best place to get it is um, consistently and easily is either from the hardware store, depending on how good your hardware store is, uh, or a homebrew store, which will have uh, all sorts of different lines similar to this for beer. I didn't have any on hand, so I ended up buying this stuff, which is completely and utterly over-engineered for the purpose we have. Uh, I think it's like petrol lines or something? I don't know, it's what I, it's what I could get my hands on at the store that I went to. Um, so please guys, don't go out and go looking for something that looks like this. But what I will do is leave some links in the description down below uh, to Adventures in Homebrewing, which I haven't looked it up yet, but I guarantee you they'll have something that'll work. So all I need now is enough hose to uh, redirect this over to the sink. Uh, I'm always gonna be running this probably right next to a sink or something like that, so I don't need a whole lot of it. Obviously your situation may vary. I'm just gonna match it to the length of this one, so I don't ever get into any uh, sticky situations where one will reach and one won't. Should be cutting this with a knife probably, but I don't have one, not on hand. <laughs> All right, so that is the um, the water circuit, I guess, the, the way that it's going to flow for our product condenser, and we just need to organize a inlet, a intake for the reflux condenser now. 
Obviously you're gonna find it pretty hard to get uh, this set up to your water source. <laughs> so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna pinch uh, this needle valve off the other end of the hose. Uh, and the reason for that is that I do like this needle valve and more often than not, I would prefer to have the accuracy of the needle valve on the reflux condenser. So that is gonna go onto uh, this side now. And on the other hose, we have this little jobby here. <laughs> so basically I pirated a bunch of parts that I had laying around the shed, went down to the hardware store and uh, grabbed a few extra things that I needed just to make it work. And at the end of the day, all you need is something to attach to your water supply at this end. So for me, that's a garden hose plug. Uh, in the middle, we need a ball valve or a needle valve, ideally. I didn't have one, I did have this, so I'm gonna use it for now. Uh, and then on the other end, a nipple that will attach to the hose we're using. Obviously, where you are and what you're using and your specific you know, water source and all that sort of stuff, you're gonna have slightly different things. So basically, have a look around, see what you've got in drawers and in the shed, and uh, play Lego, go down to the hardware store, get what you need to get. I did find it really hard to get a, uh, a nipple for the right size for this hose uh, because I was at the hardware store and they don't really supply them in uh, stainless or brass. So I've gone with some irrigation fittings that worked fine that you can get at most hardware stores. But uh, if you're willing to wait a few days, unlike me, <laughs> or you can go to your local homebrew store that is, um, you know, has kegging supplies and that sort of stuff, you'll probably find a stainless nipple that'll suit just fine. There is a one final piece of the puzzle that we haven't talked about, and that is now you need to get water to two of these things. If you're lucky enough to have two taps next to where you're running your still and you're putting it onto tap fittings, not um, hose fittings, Awesome, if you're lucky enough to have uh, two hoses next to you where you're running the still. Awesome, I don't. I've got the one hose at the moment and I don't even actually have water to the shed at the moment. I'm running a freaking garden hose out <laughs> from the other side of the yard. Uh, so I've only got one hose, but uh, thankfully enough, these things are a thing. One of those plugs into the garden hose and then I've already got these uh, little extension pieces made up that I deliver water to my CCVM with. Uh, so one goes on here, another one goes on there like such. One to each side of our uh, still, one to the product condenser, one to the reflux condenser, and then your garden hose can plug in on this side. So obviously the, the exact fittings that I have here are super specific to what I already had and I'm sure there are a bunch of you out there that are going to come up with much more uh, proper <laughs> solutions to this, the plumbers amongst you especially, but my point is that you can do this for not a lot of money, you can do it with a lot of the stuff that you've already got laying around the shed or uh, attached to a different still or in the garden, whatever it happens to be, uh, and now we have completely separate control of the two condensers which is going to allow us to do some cool stuff later on. Before I show you the end result I need to say a huge huge thank you to the Patreons, thank you so much Patreons. Uh, if you don't know guys, these are the people that have allowed me to keep doing this over the last couple of years and I probably wouldn't be here without them. So thank you so much guys, I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, if you would like to jump on board with Patreon or find out any of the other ways that you can help support the channel directly, you can go to chasethecraft.com support to find out all of those different methods. Uh, some of them don't cost you a thing. Anyway guys, uh, let's get back to seeing if this thing works. Alright guys, there you go, you now have full control over the amount of water that's going through the product condenser and the reflux condenser which is going to allow us to do cool things later on uh, like running it kind of like a pot still or doing stripping runs in this thing and honestly for the amount of money it's going to cost you to get this sorted, chances are you have a bunch of the stuff laying around the house already so you can just use those or spend I don't know 20 bucks or something at the hardware store and be sorted, it's well worth it. Anyway, if you like this video guys please give it a thumbs up that lets YouTube know that it's a good video and that it should show it to more people. And that helps me out a lot. If you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button down below and I will catch you next time. Keep on chasing the craft, guys. See ya.